My name is Mark Osborne. I always was intrigued about restaurants, but thought to myself, oh, I could never do that. I could never do that. And then when I was in my mid thirties, I thought maybe I could do that. I'm Brian Buzz Makarowitz. I got into hospitality because basically as an 18 year old kid, I didn't know what else I wanted to do. Ended up meeting Mark and we got married, decided we wanted to buy an inn. That's where we are today. Here we are. <laughs> Topside Inn is located in beautiful Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, uh, at the highest point on four acres overlooking the ocean. A few years ago, we were named Best Water View in New England. The main house was built as a single family home. Now we have over 20 guest rooms, you know, all with gorgeous views of the harbor. So it's a very intimate space as opposed to a kind of a corporate setting. In fact, we try to make it as non-corporate <laughs> as possible because right. Folks are leaving their stressful jobs in Manhattan or Boston or wherever it is and coming to stay with us. And we just want them to feel like they can, you know, relax and not have to think about yep. their conference call they have on Monday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the great things about Topside Inn is its close proximity to everything. The downtown shops, restaurants, the piers, boat trips, kayaking. I mean, that really kind of sets us up to be a very special place. And then what Buzz and I try and do is then bring the next element of service to it with our breakfasts and with our concierge services, which is great because we get to know all our guests and we get to spend time with them. One of the cool things that Mark and Buzz do at the top side is they don't send their guests to our place. They bring their guests. They come too. I love when they come in and say, hey, we've got a, a full house. What are your hours? Can we have your menu? They really are so passionate about our community and what we have to offer. So when people come and visit us, we want to make sure they're getting a real sense of place. Our food is very local. The lobsterman drops off, you know, lobsters at the house. The farmer drops off the eggs. The Booth Bay Craft Brewery is wonderful. We sell their beer. Um, they give our guests VIP tours. So we really try and give them a full experience about Maine. We came up with a five-day itinerary that we send out to folks, which highlights a lot of the great things to do, places to see, um, and really kind of make sure they're making the most of their time there. Mark and Buzz have a really great understanding of the importance of tourism and giving them an experience that hopefully they always remember and then maybe they go home and talk about it and other friends and family want to come and visit us. I like to say to guests, we're going to help you do as much or as little as you'd like to do while you're in town. Right. <laughs> so right. if you want to sit on the, our front lawn with the gorgeous view in their Adirondack chair and read a book for seven days, great, have at it. We'll you know, bring you a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to get out and experience all there is to be seen in our region and in Midcoast Maine, then we'll help you do that as well. One of our favorite things about running the inn is the breakfasts. So we do a whole big continental spread. We try and do everything from scratch. Buzz does all the baking and then I do the savory. I kind of do things that are more maybe lunch or dinner like and then put an egg on it and call it breakfast. I mean, we hear oftentimes, I wouldn't have ordered that on a menu, mm -hmm. but holy cow, I'm so glad I ate it. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, it was all... incredible. So I do all the pancakes, I make our granola, and then of course the cookies in the afternoon. I like to do seven different kinds, plus a couple of gluten-free options. But it took me a few years to come up with seven recipes that I really liked. I mean, that's what we do a lot in right. the winter, is come up with new recipes. And after four years, having everybody say, you should have a cookbook, you should have a cookbook. Last winter, we sat down and we actually wrote our first cookbook. We're so proud of it, and we can't wait to share it with guests. It's, it's really rewarding. So to be able to work in the hospitality industry at any level is one thing. To do it at the level that those guys do it at, completely something else. What they do is just, it's passionate, it's love, it's collaboration. They just get it. I'm in awe of them. We are rated five stars on TripAdvisor, and for the second year in a row this year, we were named the fifth most romantic hotel in the country. And last year, they named us the number one hotel in the state of Maine, um, based on their TripAdvisor reviews. But we're just really, really happy that all of our guests take the time to you know, give us these great reviews. 
Getting only five star reviews during a season is awesome. Not so. that we have expectations that have no, that happen it'll again. No, probably never happen again. Which but is it's, which hey, is fine. We did it. So we, yeah. there you go. Check that off. Yes. To achieve that level of service, I think it really is as simple as putting the guest first. He made a perfect point, making it about the guest. But I would say take it further, making it about that guest, right. and just make sure that from the second they arrive they say, wow, this is a really great place. I'm so glad we chose this place mm -hmm. and we're so happy to be here. We now have a full-time maintenance contractor on staff with us, Charlie. For the past five years, we've been renovating, improving, upgrading the property and Charlie has overseen all of that. So of the 20 plus rooms that we have, at this point, I think 18 of them have been renovated completely. For us, always having the next project keeps it exciting and interesting for us. It really gets our existing guests excited to come back next year to see what has changed and what new recipes we've come right. up with and, and you know what, what we're doing differently that may enhance their experience. Thank you, Hospitality Maine, for the Innkeepers of the Year Award. Thank you. We were very worried in the beginning. Yes. When everything happened and everything was unknown, we um, were very worried. We had to go through the PPP and SBA, like so many other people had to do. Um, we just really didn't know what the year was going to bring. We know that in our community um, and the greater community, uh, it's, it's been difficult for a lot of people. So we never take that for granted. And um, we try and you know support our community as much as we can, and they've supported us. Yeah, there were definitely many sleepless nights in, in the spring, wondering how this year was going to go or if we are gonna be able to open it all. Mm -hmm. um, but when we could not open in May, we decided to create this new space in the room where we're standing. We decided to build a bar uh, where there was a guest room, a project we've been thinking about doing for a few years, and we finally decided to pull the trigger. We just, we just decided that we wanted to be able to look back on 2020 with not only fear and negative things, but also maybe some fun things that came out of it. So uh, the new little bar one, as we're gonna call it, because it was our guest room number one, it's gonna be a really great experience for our guests going forward. And then something that we've always wanted to do um, was to have chickens. So we're actually building a chicken coop on the property too. And that's getting a lot of excitement and attention for our guests. So again, we just wanted to be able to look back on 2020 with some positive, fun uh, achievements as well as just getting through. Mom, mom. <laughs>